I want to talk to you about balancing ABL trees. I've got three examples here and there's 22 slides. So let's look at the first example. Here we've got a poorly balanced binary search tree, but we do know that B is less than A, which is less than C, which is less than D, which is less than E. To balance this tree, we need first to determine the height of each node that is the longest path from a node to the base of the tree that is linked from that node to a leaf. So here we have the heights of each of the nodes. Height at the base of the tree is zero, so B has a height of zero and E has a height of zero. One, two, three, zero up to, it's three. All right, start balancing this tree we need to put in some dummy nodes to ensure that every node that's not a leaf has two children. When we put the nodes in the heights are by definition equal to minus one. So here we've got the, the um, dummy, no, dummy leaves in place. Now to calculate the height here this height minus this height minus one minus zero equals minus one. Minus one minus plus one gives me minus two and zero minus two gives me minus two so we've got a problem down here this is unbalanced all right nodes a and c are unbalanced in that they have balance factors whose magnitude is greater than one. First of all we start down as far as we can so we start at C. Fix that spelling. All right, what we're going to do is rotate to the left about the location C. So C will go down here, D will come up, and E will come up. So here we go. Now, C and E both have a height of zero. The difference between those heights is equal to zero. B has a height of zero. D has a height of one. The difference is zero minus one equals minus one. So the tree is now balanced. All right, let's move on to the next one, example two. What we're looking at here is a subtree, and as you might have guessed, it's unbalanced. We're looking at nodes are A, B, C, and D. Heights are shown as 0, 1, 2, and 3. Nodes that are not leaves need to have two children each, so A, B, and C will each get a dummy node. So here we go. Height of each dummy node is equal to minus 1, by definition. As I said before, the balance factor is the height of the left child minus the height of the right child. So I've got the heights here, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3. This is my, for this height here, minus 1, minus 0 equals minus 1. Minus 1, minus 1 equals minus 2, and minus 1 minus 2 equals minus 3. All right, we start as far down as we can. So here we have B, C and D and we've got a bit of a problem here. What we're going to do is rotate to the left. So B will go down here, C will come up here and D will come to here. All right. So I've got new balance. We've still got a dummy node over here. So we need to write the heights. So B has a height of 0, D has a height of 0, C has a height of 1, A will have a height of 2. So the balance factor here, 0 minus 0 equals 0. Minus 1, minus 1 equals minus two so we're still unbalanced up here what are we going to do what we're going to do is move a to the dummy location 
B up to A's location. Let's see what that does. All right. So B and A. All right. Not so different from the previous slide. Let's go back up there. All right. So you can see we move B up to A's position and A down to the dummy position. All right. So this is the height of this dummy. This is the height of D. The height of C is 1. The height of B is 2. The height of A is 0. Balance factor. Minus 1 minus 0 is minus 1. 0 minus 1 equals minus 1. So this is balance. Everything's OK. We can now drop that dummy leaf. And we're finished. One of the things that you might have noticed is that when we've got a dummy leaf higher up in the tree, it seems to have more of an impact than a dummy leaf lower down in the tree. All right, let's look at example three. Do this fairly quickly. It looks unbalanced. We need to put in the, the dummy leaves, identify the heights, identify the balance factors in orange here so what we'll address is this one this is lowest down first of all what are we going to do we're going to move d down to the dummy f is going to go up and h will go up there we go so height of zero for h and d see what happens now so look at the balance factors we've got a balance factor of zero here we've got a balance factor of two here so and we haven't done anything over here so let's just we could play with this one or we could play with this subtree let's play with this subtree so what are we going to do what do you think What we're going to do is move B down to the dummy and then D up here. All right. We've done that. Now we've got to look at the other one. So what are we going to do? A, C will go down to this dummy, E will come up and G will come up. There it is. All right, let's create, look at the U balance factors. So 1, 1, 0, and 0. So each one of those balance factors has a magnitude that's less than or equal to 1. This is balanced. We're happy. I hope this has helped.